Good morning and welcome to the Pebble Go video. We have this database at both Sherrard Elementary and Winola Elementary this year. So I'm just going to go over some of the features so you have an overview of what's available. Now, you can do a general search by going through and looking at each section. When you hold your cursor over something, the program will read it aloud so you know what you're looking at. So for those students that are not reading yet or need that additional reading support, that can be useful. It is more of a visual search so that students can find what they need. Since it's homecoming week when I'm recording this, I was going to look at tigers. Now if I go, I can search this way. I can go mammals and then I can go to wildcats and then to tigers. You'll notice along the top, it leaves me a back to. So if for instance, a student accidentally clicks the wrong thing, they can always get back a step or they can always go back to home. All of these have information about the animal in various tabs. Students can listen to the information by clicking over here on this little megaphone and then pause it when they, if they don't want it read to them anymore. If there's an orange word, students can always click and then a glossary definition will pop up so students can see what that word means right in context. They can also listen to that definition. The star down at the bottom, if you click on that, that brings up additional resources. So whatever additional resources are available for that particular article or topic will pop up there. So a few things to highlight. There is a video sometimes available, so then you can click on that and it will show you the animal moving or the habitat or whatever the information is about. You can also look at this range map for most of the animals and that will show you where the animal lives and where tigers can be found in this case. Also, if you are working with students but you do not have access to computers that day, you can go in and show them the information on a projector, but you can also print out articles for students. So right here where it says article, if you click on that, it will bring up an article and you can print an image or the whole article. So if you want students to work with something when they don't have a computer or if you would just want them to annotate on paper, you still have that option with this database. There are also activities that go along so you can see what activities are associated with that animal or that habitat and then you can print those as well. You can do a search at the top. So if a student is interested in eagles, they can type that in and it will give them that the rest of that spelling in most cases. Even when you do a search, it shows you the breadcrumbs that led to that particular item. So you can always go back. So if a student decides, I don't want to do this topic, but I want to look at a bird of prey, they can click on that bird of prey and see what other options are for that particular topic. Please let me know if you have any questions about using Pebble Go. Thank you.